Well, hello guys, it's me, Clock, and we're playing A Date With Death Part 2. By the way. Uh, is this? There's this one. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think we left off on the end of day three? Cat. Check on the cat. Yes, sir. Max is hanging out on your bed at the moment. As you sit down next to her, you think a little bit on your shared history. Just how did you come up with her name again? Named after your favorite character. Came to you on a whim? You thought about it for ages? <laughs> uh, I named it after my favorite cat, so I guess this. Best way to memorialize your favorite character, but in pet form. Love both Maxes dearly. True. Wait, I gotta pet him now. Groom. Sorry, I gotta groom my cat. YouTube, you can wait for that, right? Before we start looking to bang Grimace. Max is looking particularly relaxed right now, and you know what's the best time to strike? Calmly, you sit next to her on the bed and pull out a rubber brush. Luckily, Max enjoys being brushed and happily sleeps through the grooming session. This is actually my cat. What she enjoys less is having her nails clipped, but you manage to get through them all. Give Max a little treat at the end of it. Nice. Water my plants, and then we, uh... I think we check the door. Your little plant is growing healthily. Give it a big drink of water, excited about its growth. What about the door? Put your ear to the door, listening carefully. You can hear something, but it seems muffled. I wonder if you'll be able to hear better from the window. Eavesdrop on them. There's a, there's a storyline happening, dude. You push open your window. A cool nighttime breeze blows inside. Feels nice. Look up at the stars above and think for a moment that being alive truly is worth it. Nah, I don't know. Then you hear two voices from the next door. One light and airy, and another deep and calm. Just like you, they seem to be watching the stars. You can't help but feel that under such a big sky, having to be alive at the same time as people you care about is very special. The light voice speaks first. Isn't it just beautiful? That's why I decided to rent this apartment. The view is amazing during the day, but it nothing beats the night sky. Sorry, you are. It is very beautiful. The deeper voice answers, sounding somewhat absent-minded. I'm not gonna lie. I think I forgot how the voice I was doing for death. Oh no. You've always loved the stars, haven't you? The deep. Oh, sorry. You've always loved the stars, haven't you? The deep voice continues, forever and ever, right? <laughs> this is a good voice. I like it. The lighter voice pauses for a moment. Actually, yes, as long as I can remember. It's been two days, Glock. I thought so. How could you guess? To be honest, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little embarrassed to say it. I feel like I see the universe in your eyes. Sorry, it sounds a little corny. This is like my, this is like my evil anime character voice, by the way. <laughs> what is this hydrating, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. That's enough. Help me. Help me. Help me, YouTube. You can't see it, but I just got spammed with the hydrate like 20 times, dude. <laughs> Full piss boy. <laughs> <laughs> That one Logan hydrate, though. You better hydrate on it. Two voices go quiet for a moment, and you feel like these two people you've never met are too busy looking into each other's eyes to say anything. Fill him with liquid. What? I'm drinking water, excuse me. <laughs> Which all of you should be drinking as well. You too, YouTube. Get, a, get your snacks. Get your drinks, YouTube. Come on. We got a long game in front of us. Deeper voice finally pipes up again. Do you believe in fate? The lighter voice answers, but seems much smaller than usual. I'm not sure. I feel like you and I were always meant to meet. <laughs> but I, the voice, cool like the night sky above, cuts off. I don't want to hurt you, and I'm afraid that the same fate that made us meet in the first place will make, us, make me cause you pain. Half of me wants to stay at anyway, and the other half knows how selfish that sounds. Can't there be a third option? The light voice adds on, barely a whisper. A sigh escapes into the night air. I wish there was. 
It's getting late. I better head off. The, the voices slowly fade and soon enough you hear your neighbor's door open and close. That seems to be everything you'll hear for the night. Dude, I am a freak, dude. Giant chocolate $2 coin from the dollar store? That's a dub. It's not even Halloween? That's a win. But it did get you thinking about fame, chance meetings, and the buddings, budding feelings within your chest. Alright, so now we just go to bed, right? Comfortable bed. Still a little early. Your, la you sl your sleep last night was... Uh, what sleep, bro? Sleep is an elusive thing at the best of times. And finding out the man you're talking to online is actually the Grim Reaper is not the best of times. Didn't even get a wink of sleep. Instead, you examined your ceiling in great detail as you thought about the fact that you were actively being hunted for your soul. Drink! Water, please. Somehow, the Grim Reaper still didn't scare you. Talking to him was enjoyable, you feel. Okay. Attracted? You don't want to admit it, but you feel somewhat attracted to this man you know so little about. His attitude is awful, his personality is mediocre at best, but somehow he's become rather charming in your eyes. You also like to tease him. A lot. You hope in the days to come you'll learn more about him. You're somewhat concerned about what this budding spark may become, however. Check my computer, what's going on? Um... Let's just go straight to the chat room. I... I mean, what... Oh! <laughs> I was a little worried that... I was a little worried this wouldn't be saved. Wow. Thank God it is saved, eh? Woo! That's good that we got that in. Okay, moving on. Smiley face. I love you, chat. I love you too, YouTube. Don't worry. Any news, Grimace? I'm loving the pumpkins still. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm loving it. I'll take that as a no then. Go away. Slug boy! Baby deer. Grim. Asriel is the cutest. Nice. I love that his new profile picture is the axolotl. Pog. Unless it's a yes and you're just ignoring me. <laughs> what, what not us? We're a good chat. I don't know about that. You wouldn't do that, right? You wouldn't ignore me. Right, Grim? Is it because I keep calling you Grimace? What was it like? The voice? Was it like, I said I might perhaps tell you. No, I don't think that was it. Wait. YouTube? We'll be right back. We'll be right back, YouTube. Come. Sorry I'm late. You don't have to be sorry. Huh? What do you think would happen if I slam my head in against the keyboard? You might not have a keyboard anymore, friendo. Okay, I'm back. I'm I, YouTube. I'm back. Hey, what's up? Nothing happened. I totally didn't just watch the video again just so I learned what voice I was doing. I said I might perhaps tell you. Ah, the man of the hour. Nice. I really am always on your mind, aren't I? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think about you a lot. What about it? In this instance, yes. I always is a little bunch. <laughs> yeah, I think about you a lot. What about it? I ain't afraid to admit my feelings for a grimace. I'm a little concerned with the amount of time you spend fantasizing about death. That's an interesting thought. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to trauma dump, Grim. <laughs> you know. Well, if you're there for it, I mean, we can get a lot closer that way. Is the Grim Reaper literally death? I bring death. I represent death. I quite like death. <laughs> but is that the same thing? Yeah. See it as you will. Whether I'm literally death or not is up to interpretation. Um, I like the idea of you being literal death. That'd be funny. But either way, we're getting off topic here. So, you are, ve you are so very demanding. To make a long story short, there is 110% something wrong with you. Ah. <laughs> well, obviously. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm glad you realize. But I don't mean with your personality or whatever. I love that. So what do you mean then? Sorry guys, I have to add the extra words to make myself happy. 
Am I secretly an immortal? Am I a Grim Reaper too? Of course not. Use your brain. You're a human. I swear, the things you get, you say get stupider and stupider every day. You seem to be having a hard time taking my soul, right? What if I don't have one? Maybe my immortality stops you. Do you ever stop spouting nonsense? Mortals are not immortal. It is not, it is not possible. If you were immortal, you wouldn't be mortal. You are obviously mortal. Thought that was a good hypothesis. Well, how do I put this lightly? Model gamer? Wait. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I can't. I can't message him. Wait. He burnt down my house. Leave. Le Are you being considerate of me right now, Grim? O face. I'm about to tell you bad news, so I was just trying to be nice. Okay. Uh, Grim being. Uh, well, okay. Now you're making me scared, bro. Leave. But now it's the 9.99 lunch special. Oh shit. Maybe I gotta stop clicking on them for real. I was just thinking of how to say this in the least brutal fashion. Oh, okay. Uh, very bad news. Am I dying? No. It's the opposite. Oh, God. Grim, I'm too young to die. No. You aren't dying. If you were, that would be fantastic news. Grim. It's worse than dying? I'm cursed to live forever. <laughs> what? Just let me explain. There is something wrong with your soul, okay? My... my soul? Is it... broken? Heart photography? Capture your best! I love that there's so many ads, dude. Hmm... I wouldn't say broken, exactly. Uh... Then what exactly is wrong with it, dude? <laughs> Earthling to Grim. Grim, don't just stop talking now. Come on. Oi, Earthling to Grim. <laughs> You're awfully pushy, aren't you? Something is wrong. That's all I have to say to you. <laughs> Dick. I need more time to look into it further than I may or may not tell you more. Ah, you don't even you don't even know. Okay, Grimace. You're back to Grimace, Grim. God. <laughs> Great, I'm dying of broken soul disease. You aren't dying told you as much already. I think you should see a doctor about your memory issues, if anything. <laughs> also, you don't have broken soul disease. It's not even a thing. Another ridiculous assumption for my ridiculous mortal. Oh, for my ridiculous mortal. Your mortal? Yeah, I called him out too. It is correct. You are a mortal under my watch. Make it sound kind of, You're sweeping me off my feet here, Grimmy. <laughs> Grimmy, you're my guardian angel. I can see how you would mistake me for an angel. Yes, isn't... But please don't forget I'm planning your demise. Dude, even Thanos got some wings, okay? Devil in disguise as an angel. It's a little poetic. Or a little stupid. I am neither an angel nor a devil. Devils are not nearly as handsome as me. And they smell. Don't talk to them. Don't talk to angels either. Only me, Grimace. How do I know you don't smell, bro? I suppose you must take my word for it. Or you could come prove it. Oh, I will. You will smell the scent of death itself soon enough when I come for your life. Ah. <laughs> uh. Started off so well for a second there. Huh. Not gonna lie, the scent of death sounds like it smell kind of bad, dude. Yeah, I, I'm not sure uh, the corpse smell is good. Huh? How and why would it smell bad? <laughs> sounds earthy and rotting, dude. Bruh. I do not smell earthy and rotting. You should work on the description of your scent some more, dude. Maybe you like roses, you know? People throw those at funerals. Anyways. This is all totally beside the point. Probably smells like B.O. Freaking out about my broken soul disease here. Could you help me out, Grim? Come on, bro. 
There's no need to freak out. You failed helping her. No! I have to. When does the grimy pegging scene... I'm getting there. We're getting there, okay? We're gonna make some soul babies with them. There's no need to freak out. Just go about your usual daily business. Just go about my business. Okay. That's what I said. Congratulations on your elementary, elementary level of reading. Is that really safe? What if I do something that puts my soul in danger? You didn't even know something was wrong with it until like two minutes ago. You have survived until now. I don't believe anything will happen if you keep acting as per usual. I suppose that makes sense. Obviously, I said it after all. Smug little attitude. I, I'm sorry, boys. This game, no NSFW tags. Don't expect a, a mistake like the last time. Um, smug little attitude. Oh, wait. Uh, seeing as you don't think it's such a big deal, maybe it's not. To be honest, this is just proof that you should listen to me more often. I know best. <laughs> You're capable of making jokes, Grim? Oh. <gasps> Of course I am capable of something as simple as a joke. Do you take me for a fool? I'm not gonna answer that, Grim. Grim, you're digging yourself in a tunnel. So you think you know what's best for me? Okay. Yes. Single assassins in my area? So let me close some tabs. There was none in my area. The guy trying to kill me knows best for me. Uh-huh. Right. Thank you for agreeing so readily. That wasn't me agreeing, bro. Sounded like agreement to me. You're totally twisting the meaning of my words. You literally said, the guy trying to kill me knows best for me. Uh-huh, right? That is an agreement. Uh, dude. You're such a handful. Thank you. <laughs> All that rubbish aside, it just makes it better because he actually, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. How you feeling today? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. Uh, I'll do whatever I want. Uh, I'm not allowed to feel worried. Why bother feeling worried? Why should I not? Because it is entirely unnecessary. Think on something else instead. Perhaps you could think of a bucket list of things you would like to do before you perish. Oh. oh. For what is rightfully mine will soon be in my possession. You're being edgy again, Grim. Can you tone it down just a little bit? Just a, little, just a wee tad. I'm simply being myself. Yeah, edgy. You got three days left, not including today. Have you even been trying? None of your business. I actually say it is. That's my life. Anyways, we can worry about my impending doom later. Jeez, not the hydrates, dude. <laughs> Ugh. You guys are gonna make me stand up to pee. Burp. I actually say it is. You can worry about my impending doom later. It is a rather pressing issue, you know. As is your health. Fine. If you really feel that curious, I feel... I'm feeling just... Great, actually. Which makes absolutely no sense. I have not rested, nor eaten, nor had a chance to meditate. And I feel as good as new. What the hell, penguin? Stop interrupting the video for hydrates. <laughs> uh, thank you, though. Everybody else stay hydrated. Sounds like good is good news to me, dude. It is confusing news. I do not like being confused. I prefer to feel unwell and know why than suddenly feel good and be left wondering how. Maybe my presence is healing you. Hearts. Ooh, I'm already at the sending a heart phase. Ooh. If anything, your presence only hastens my tiredness. 
I'm not gonna make the same mistake as last time. What happened last time? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, um... You say that, but I know you don't mean it. We made you unwell anyway. My soul was becoming unbalanced. A soul can do that? Balanced with what, the yin-yang? Usually no, but for a Grim Reaper, maintaining a balance is essential. What happens if you don't keep it balanced? You die. <laughs> a Grim Reaper can die. Indeed, death comes to everyone, eventually. But doesn't that mean you're not death, Grim? You're not immortal? I do not age, if that's what you're asking. I cannot be killed under normal circumstances. But my soul can be inter can be corrupted with the taint or the light, and I will simply fade away. The taint. That's the part uh, in between your balls and your butt in your butthole. Okay, guys. If you reach down there and uh, if you poke it, poke it. <laughs> the light. You know too much already. You know my weak spot. The taint. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> but you're just gonna take my soul away anyways, right? What does it matter if you tell me the truth? Dot, dot, dot. I suppose. Tell your wife about this game! Okay! Grim, have you seen this game before? <laughs> Maybe somewhat nice to talk to someone about it. I'm good at listening. Smiley face. Also, good at asking too many questions. Fine. I like how Chad didn't say anything about what I just said, man. That's that's hilarious. That's good. That's great. I must maintain a balance of light and dark in my own soul to continue my existence. When I take a soul, I take on a part of its darkness. If their soul is difficult, it only worsens the effect on myself. This is the taint. Yeah, no, no, not the sniffer. Not the sniffer on taint. Oh, no. Never mind. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> when I spare someone or spend too much time in the mortal realm, then my soul tips towards light. In this case, I took a soul I took two days ago refused to move on to the afterlife, and it resulted in a struggle. The weight of that taint tilted my soul towards darkness. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do all of that to live. <laughs> not the sniffers. Not the army of sniffers. <laughs> oh, God. My continued survival is complicated, yes. But I have a handle on it. I've survived all this time, after all. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling better, then. My soul should not be balanced yet. But it is. Ever since I linked our minds. I guess it was me, after all. Smiling. No, there must be another explanation. And I will find it. Later, though. <laughs> uh, by the way, I feel like I know the answer, but... Are you the reason such strange things keep happening to me every day? Like, I feel like I either that or we really are a Looney Tunes character, okay? Define strange. Uh, there's a lot. Pianos falling from windows right in front of me? Maybe that. Yes, that was me. <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> what are you, the coyote? Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, I, I am actually in a Looney Tune. Why? Why did you drop a piano in front of me, man? Because I am trying to take your soul. You know this. I know you know this, so why play dumb? I really just thought I was living life as a cartoon character, bro. I just thought, you know, Grim Reaper would have a cooler way to take someone's soul. <laughs> Are you telling me that's not the coolest way to go out? Bros. Dude, it's instant death. You're probably not going to suffer. And you're, there's definitely going to be a news article about you, your death, okay? It's going to be hilarious. Who tapes Grim Soul? Me. I will. I'll suck it out of him. I simply cannot. I simply cannot take your soul before your human body dies. It is against the rules. Oh, okay. God's got an eye on him, I guess. 
When it is your time, you will die, and then I will collect your soul from your dying body. Then why try to kill me? Why not wait for nature to take its course? Nature was meant to take its course with you years upon years ago. Yet here you are. Oh. Good to know that I've already beat Mother Nature. So I'm supposed to be dead. Yes. Says who? Says me, and the list I have with your name on it. Maybe it's someone else with the same name? Yeah, ever think about that, Grim? Do you think we do not account for that? Please tell me I'm Clocky, number one. Hoggies. Uh, I don't know. It would just explain some things, wouldn't it? It would. But it is not the case. You, Clock, are the person I desire above all else. Ooh, desire. Yes, I desire your soul. Oh, desire me in other ways? I desire your soul. I refuse to elaborate any further. Come on, do you love me? Level 69 princess? <laughs> so... You're really just trying to kill me in totally random ways, huh? Cooking with cat boys? Sign me up, baby! Yes. Is that how you usually do things? It's in the corner, in the ads. Of course not. Like I said, nature usually takes its course. People die the way they are supposed to. The way they are destined to from the moment they are born. In your case, you need a bit of a push. Off, off a ledge. Has anyone else ever needed a bit of a push? No. It's just you. It has always been just you. Um, you know, it sounds a little romantic when you say it like that, Grim. In a way, I suppose it is. You were destined for me. I'm the hunter, and you are my prey. And we will be locked to one another until one of us wins. Which will be me, of course. Even if it kills me in the process. <laughs> no, dude, you can't just hit me. You can't just be the edgiest guy ever. Have a picture of a fucking cute, smiley face axolotl and then hit me with the angry, chibi, grim emote. What the? What is that? It is me. <laughs> Where did it come from? I sent it. <laughs> did you draw it yourself? What? Do I look like I would have the time to draw? I commission artists and pay them a fair wage for their work. Fuck AI art, by the way. Oh, wow, that's really based, Grim. What the hell? You have the time to message me, bro. That is a fair comment. No, I did not draw it. I commissioned a mortal artist. You commissioned someone? Wow, good for you. Yes. Do you see the likeness? It's cute. Usually I would argue. However, in this case, I believe cute is the right term. Well, I don't commission Vin. That's my channel artist, by the way. We just keep her in the basement of my house. I, I'm just... It has compounded all of my handsomeness into a cute roundness. I tipped the artist as they did a good job. True! Okay. Anyway, you just sent a human a photo of yourself. How else would they capture my likeness? It's not against your Grim Reaper rules. Whether it is not, whether it is or not, does not matter. So it is. Perhaps. <laughs> However, bending the rules is sometimes necessary. I needed it. Are you bending the rules by talking to me? <laughs> yeah, I think so. You are a clever clock. Sometimes too clever. Yes, I am forbidden from speaking to mortals, let alone one whose soul I seek. Breaking all the rules for me then, huh? Remember the beginning of the first video where I said, this is what he's gonna see when I give it to him? It's coming soon. It's coming. We're gonna come. With him. Breaking all the rules for me then, huh? 
for you. Don't be ridiculous. I've broken them only for myself. Wow, breaking my heart over here. Good. You shouldn't fool yourself into believing things that simply cannot be true. So you have that blushing emote. Is there any more? I have received a few, depicting a wide range of emotions. <gasps> Gasp. Did you pose when you took the photos? <laughs> Naturally. How else would the mortal have been able to capture such beauty? Uh, <laughs> fantastic. Send me the pics, Grim. They truly got your good side. Oh, the banger's back! Dude, this is a banger song! Come on, sorry, appreciate the music with me. Dude, free, free use music? Dude, have you ever heard a free use song this much of a banger? Gotcha? Wait a second. Huh. What? What are you so excited about? You pouted in the picture. You should have sent it to me. Why would I send that to you? Because you're a little pouty blush. Cute. Yeah. But you know what? Once again, I am proving to be an excellent problem solver. Make sure you pick up, okay? Well, I called him. It was me. It was me, Dio. No, sorry. It was me, Barry. I... Insert... Insert reverse flash meme. You're getting rather demanding, mortal. Start pouting, pretty boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I want to see you pout. Excuse me. Go on, pout already. What? No. Why? Then send me the picture instead. I will not. Come on, I want to see you pout. The emoji's cute. Maybe the real thing isn't? Too bad. You called me for this? You called the literal Grim Reaper to see him pout? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Click the ad. It's gone. Sorry, bros. Wait, uh, it's very important. Daddy. Wait a second. Daddy? Oh, no. This is a pointless waste of time. I'll see. I see. I'll have to take this up a notch. Commencing phase one of trying to embarrass Grim. This is so stupid. Ah! What? I said, I said pout, not look surprised. Don't worry about it. You are rather insistent, aren't you? I'm always ins insistent about things I want. Of all the things you could want, you choose that. Why would death have a red room? It goes well with black and white, though. All right, no need to judge. Plus blood, bro. That's badass. What would you pick if you could have anything? You're so... Wait, wait, wait. Something other than my soul? Get that... Wipe the smiley off your face. Well. Hmm. A holiday, I suppose. A holiday? I, I... Sorry, guys, to break your fantasy. He does not want sex. He wants my soul. And then he wants a holiday. <laughs> that is what it's called, right? When a mortal takes a break from their work requirements. Man, God's a goddamn slave driver up there. What the hell are you doing? Give this man a break! Yo, nah! <laughs> Subscribe. Don't worry. Guys, that's the point of the game. We're gonna make him want to sex, okay? We're gonna make him. Don't worry about it. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Any other Prime subs in the chat? Any other Prime <laughs> I love bugging. Okay. Um, wait, have you never been on a holiday? 8,000 years, no holidays? Don't lie to me. There's no way you've never had a holiday. I've had days off to recover from being unbalanced. But never have I experienced time away from my duties for pure recreation. Well, what about this right now? Banger, by the way. That can't be true. I've told you, I cannot lie. You cannot. What are we doing right now? Or you will not. I 
cannot. I'm not able to. What part don't you understand? Is this some weird Grim Reaper magic thing? It is not magic. We are simply bound by our oath. I physically cannot speak a lie. Whoa, okay, like, like actually. Yes, like actually. How many times must I repeat myself? Huh. Don't smile like that. <laughs> Don't even think about using this to your advantage. You can't stop me. This is gonna be fun. Er, you know, I can still refuse to answer your questions. Yeah, but if you refuse to answer the question, I know the answer. <laughs> My oath doesn't force me to speak, only not to speak lies. Where to start? Where to start? Do you believe in love at first sight? What? You want to play 20 questions now? Yes. No. Do you cuddle as as real in bed? What? I what? Why would you care? Do you cuddle as real while you're in bed? Yes or no, Grim? Let's talk about something else. You do. That's cute. No answer is still an answer. Pow. <laughs> His face is so good when he does that. That's so cute. Well, he... Yes? He's cute, so... Ah. Uh, adorable. Get lost. So, pineapple on pizza? Of course. Pineapple was created by the gods to be placed on pizza. Wow! I mean, I think it's okay, but... Damn! Pineapple lover here. I'm not sure about that. Finally, someone that sees sense. Someone that sees sense, I guess. I mean, I, I eat it. I eat it. <laughs> Pass! <laughs> He's a pass now. That's all it took for chat to be like, fuck this guy. Total, pla total pass. I knew you were a smart man, Grim. Glad you recognize it. Smiley face. Hmm, then... Uh, do you think I'm cute? I pass. <laughs> you can't pass. I said I pass. I refuse to play this infantile game any longer. Then, do you think I'm handsome? Oh, for the love of... So, no. I... I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> the Grim Reaper later? Uh, he's gonna be swishing it. Ha, <laughs> got you. Do you think about me often, Grim? You are all I think about right now, mortal. And it is... aggravating. <laughs> Fight weirdos who like pineapple on pizza. I mean, I, I like it. It's it's fine. You know, what I said I don't love it. I I like it. I can say that. Have you ever been in love, Grim? I do not think so. You don't think so? I have simply never lived a life, nor had the time to consider something like that. I am too busy, and love and death don't tend to mix easily. I believe I've mentioned it somewhat before. You wish you could fall in love. Why? Hmm. For the happiness it brings. <laughs> Dies. What I need someone else to be happy. Well, you don't. Lots of people are happy alone, and that's okay, too. I just thought you seemed lonely. Maybe that's why you're up late at night every day talking to me. Messaging me, even though you want to kill me. Lonely, huh? You need not concern yourself over my loneliness. That is part of a being reaper. Being a reaper. That's sad, actually. Lonely, huh? You can think of... Think what you wish of me. Hmm, neither yes nor no, I see. You may take of it what you wish. Alright, alright then. Okay. Have you ever kissed anyone, Grim? No. I have not been in love, and I would not kiss someone I did not love. Have you? Have you? Ooh, woo. <laughs> Orange on pizza? You're a sicko. You're fucked up. 
You're messed up, chat. Oh my god. Ask him if he's a bottom. You tell me this guy's not a bottom? Dude, he's got the ponytail. Nah, nah. We are grabbing the ponytail later. Me? No, the other person that I'm chatting to. Of course I mean you, mortal. <laughs> Sorry, Grim. I don't kiss and tell. You can just say yes, you know. Interesting. Then have you... Nope. It's still my turn, clock. I thought this was an infantile game. <laughs> Look how excited he is. He's like, I like these. I like asking. <laughs> it is. But if you get to play, so do I. Are you afraid? Afraid of what? Of me. Look at He's like, I'm scary. <laughs> scary? <laughs> no, why would I be? <laughs> I then dropped the smile so quick. You should be. Well, I'm not. You will change your mind when your soul becomes mine. I won't. To be honest, this has been fun. Will I even have anything left to do in life after chatting with the literal Grim Reaper for a week? Kind of the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I... You are full of life, Clock. You would fill your life with plenty, I'm sure. Wow. Anyway, it's my turn again. A little... Wow, a little, a little romantic right there, Grim. What's your name? Your real name. I told you. That name, that information is classified. You've broken like how many rules for me? Really? I thought you that you were lying. No clock. So you won't tell me? No. That would be risking my very position and therefore my life. I believe it's my turn. Have you ever felt anything unusual today? Unusual? How so? Just anything off. Thousand years of in the gulag apples laces get out of here with your fruit. Okay. This is a little suspicious, bro What isn't? What did you do? What makes you think I've done something? Well, have you? Intentionally? No <laughs> Grim You see I seem to have left a small portion of myself tethered to you whoopsies T. T <laughs> then I die up. Wait a second. Eh? Uh -huh. You see, I seem to have left a small piece of myself inside of you. It's my soul come. <laughs> awful, awful. I know. Sorry. You you what? <laughs> you what? <laughs> Part of my soul seems to have remained after what happened yesterday. Um, yes. Sorry. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? You didn't wear a soul condom, dude? Come back and get it! Don't you, like, need that? <laughs> Wait a second. Have you been spying on me? I have absolutely not been spying on you. I already see far too much of you during my work hours. Seeing you any more than that would be too much. Then take it back already, dude. I cannot. It's too risky. So I just live with you spying on me forever. There won't be any spying. That piece of my soul is far too small for something like that. Tongue face. Well, that's certainly reassuring. Indeed it is. If another were to sense it on you, they would see I've already laid my claim. Oh no, it's like a dog peeing on me, dude? It is a mark against your soul. One that shows you were touched by death itself. Oh no. At least I'm an adult, man. GG, well played. And it would be foolish to try and take something that belongs to someone else. Hmm. I don't mind being owned by you, Grimmy. <laughs> we always like to make him surprised. You mean to be indecent, but if you agree to being owned that easily, know that to be owned by me means I'll own all of you. And this includes your soul. So are you agreeing to hand it over after all, mortal? I might pass again. Sorry, man. I don't mind the idea, though. You know. 
<laughs> if anyone was gonna lay claim to me, I'd rather it be you, Grimace. And why is that? I kinda like you for some reason. Huh. Honestly, being around you is very confusing. You mess with my mind and my heart. It goes doki doki for you, clock. Clocky walky. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, chat. Then it's working, winky face. It's too easy. I do not know what I did to... I do not know what I did wrong to deserve this fate. Can't think of a better fate for you. Both of us kind of have shitty fates, huh? We're two peas in a pod. Yes, well, that's all well and good, but you're... Satch. I'm, I'm what? You know what? I have something I need to do. You can't just leave without telling me what you were gonna say, dude. I can. I will. It's exactly what I plan to do. I tease? You tease me. It is only fair. You, as mortals say, dish it, but cannot take it. Anyway, good night, sunshine. I enjoyed talking to you. I did too. Good night, cutie. Complete day four. Hey, nice. New item added to the gallery. On your way home from work, you decide to stop in a local coffee shop for your favorite beverage. Wait, let's save again? Let's do a new save. Okay. Decide against going to your usual store and instead stop by one a little closer to your apartment. Except, when you enter, you find it totally empty. Confused, you decide to leave. Just in time for the building to erupt in flames. When the fire trucks arrive, you learn that the building was evacuated over a leaky gas pipe, but they forgot to lock the door when they left. Whoops. <laughs> what? They're amazed you got out unscathed. And also confused about how the fire started, seeing as no one was there. Grim? Grimace? Excuse me, were you just having a light right there? Still, you didn't even set that up. God damn it, Grim. Still, tried to take a pot shot, dude. Still, you're let go, and you, and you make your way back to your apartment, smiling to yourself. Though Grim is still after your soul, at least he doesn't let anyone else get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> well, I guess that's good. Except he burned down a building. Uh, check on my my cat. Yeah, Max is sleeping on your bed for the moment. Sit down next to her. Think back on your history with pets. Um, cat named Cleo. What? Um, your first pet were Herman's crabs. Your first pet was a dog named Oreo. Okay, my. Okay, we'll say Oreo so no one tries to look up like my passwords and stuff. But yeah, I had a dog. He was a fantastic dog. He used to go to the beach together. We did not go to the beach together, actually, but we did go on walks a lot. You smiled down at Max. You're very happy to have her in your life. Earlier today, Max was looking a little ill, but was totally perked up after spending a little time around you. Strange. Yo, he better not be fucking with the cat. What is this? Take a photo of Max. Quickly snap a picture of Max. You probably have a hundred identical ones, but that didn't matter. Fur is looking especially soft today. Yo, my plant is growing so good. Water the plant, yeah. Your little plant has sprouted some buds. You must tear up when you notice them. They're so cute. Can't wait to see what the flowers would look like. Nice. Yo, I gotta eavesdrop now. I'm I'm committed to eavesdropping. We missed two days, but I'm here for it. You hear footsteps from the hallway. You wonder if it's your neighbors again. Yes. Putting your ear to the door, you hear a knock at the apartment next to yours. There's a pause. Ten seconds go by, then thirty. Then it's been a minute before you even realize it. No one answers the door. You're a sigh in the hallway beyond. Are you in there? A deep voice starts, but it's much quieter than usual. Sorry for taking off like that last night. <laughs> Chat, you're not going for walks out of the basement. It's not happening. You can't be trusted. <laughs> and for not answering your texts. That voice, which you've come to know as calm and composed, sounds strained and vulnerable. I didn't mean to worry you, the voice continues, but I needed some time alone. Something's been on my mind, and I didn't want to burden you with it. 
I've never been very good at talking to you about things. Not that you know that. The hallway falls silent for a moment, broken only by the sound of distant traffic. I've been keeping something from you, something I didn't want to share, but that's never gone well for either of us. So, I know you don't want to talk right now, but you can come find me, and I'll tell you everything. When you're ready, and only if you want to. Silence again. You keep listening quietly, but the door never opens. And then the same voice rises for the final time. I really want to change. I really want to get things right just this once. Footsteps, they're slow and heavy. You can almost feel the weight of their emotions in each stem. El Riz. El Riz, anybody? Then all is quiet. Damn, he fucked up bad. Um, okay. I need my walkies clock. Nope. You can go in circles in the basement. Check on the PC. Q Riz. Nah, my neighbor's got no games. Wait a second. What was this again? What did paint show again? Oh, yeah, that's right. A good message. <laughs> a day with death. <laughs> he changed his profile picture again. Here, I'll, I'll change mine too. You know what? We'll... No, no, no. I don't want that. No, no. How do I change my profile picture? No, it's changing this, dude. <laughs> Maybe I need to click it when I pop up. Mortal, I've had an important revelation. That is that I'm unaware of certain aspects of your person. It is imperative that you answer these immediately upon being seen. One, your favorite mortal color. Mortal color? Can't pick corpse brown. Damn. Click the ad this time, clock. Okay. I already own Slay the Princess, though. Damn. Two, the season in which you favor most. Okay, easy. What is your family status? Left, or sorry, four. Names of any mortals who tickle your fancy. Left or right side of the bed. Thank you. <laughs> Why have you taken so long to respond? Perhaps my approach was wrong. No, the problem cannot be me. Hmm. Clock, I request your presence. Hello. <laughs> Desperate for my attention, aren't we? Yes, okay, there we go. We'll switch it up now, finally. We're gonna do the bird. Do we do the burb? Do we get any new ones? No, I don't think so. Was this there? I don't, I don't know. We'll do the burb. We'll do the burb. That's what we're doing today, and we're, we're gonna be clocky. Egg? We'll do egg tomorrow. I was thinking of it. Anyway, let me read all of this. No, I did not read. We playing 20 questions or something? 20. Don't be ridiculous. Use your eyes and count. I asked five. <laughs> Technically, there are eight questions there. Just answer the first five, mortal. Don't you want to know what took me so long? Sorry to answer it, but yes, your approach is wrong, as always. Just answer the other questions. Fine, I'll work down the list. My favorite mortal color is... Oh, um, we'll just say blue. We'll just say blue. It's so much easier. Probably blue then. Okay, blue. Got it. A fine color. I actually really like cyan, but that's kind of specific. Which season? Uh, I'm a big fall kind of guy. Fall and spring, but I, I guess fall is nicer. Just looks way better. Not too hot, not too cold. True, sweater weather. And the ground looks very pretty with all the leaves. Yeah, I love the trees. It's the trees, the trees just look awesome. You like a season most because of the leaves? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's a comfortable season. I like it because it's sweater weather, okay? And I get to look at some nice, pretty trees on my walks, okay? TP keeps poking me. Do I have to get you different cages now, guys, in the basement? Come on. Yeah, I guess so. It's a comfortable season. Jumpers? Okay, well, I do like hot chocolate, and I do like books, so... Smiley, you feel me? Heh, <laughs> you wish. Feel you. No, I can't say I do. Why? Do you want to? 
bet you thought of touching my hand or hugging me once or twice before. Oh, I bet he's thought of a lot more than just touching my hand. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. With you, Grim? I wouldn't mind. I'm snowed in currently and my class was canceled due to it, so that's a plus for winter, I guess. Hey, nice. Hey, winter's not so bad. Except for today, it's all slush for me. Sludge. You want my touch? The feel of my skin on yours. I crave it. Well, I... <clears throat> uh, if you... If you were right there, I'd mean... Uh, what am I saying? What's wrong with me today? I'm actually a little lost for words. Oh my god, Daniel! Oh, he's gone. Oops, sorry. Uh, it, uh, never mind, the Steam page opened nothing. Excuse me? Did someone just say they would peg someone in my chat? What the... F what the... Chat. What the... Oh! Stop! Chat! No! Chat's gone off the rails already, goddammit. I'm actually a little lost for words. You're very forward today, Grim. Not that I mind, like at all. In fact, I quite like it. I can't not kiss him. True, that's how I feel about Grim. But, uh, is that meant to be flirting? Wait, I'm straight, aren't I? Wait a second. Wait a minute. But, uh, is that meant to be flirting? I... what? Flirting? Don't be absurd, mortal. I need out this cage. You guys aren't leaving shit. The Grim Reaper does not flirt. That would be... ridiculous. Wow, you're really ruining me right now. <laughs> Flirt away, Grim. Anyway, my questions. What about your family? Want to meet the in-laws, Grim? Yeah. Yeah, you want to meet my... You want to meet your future parents, eh? We are not married. Should we get married, then? <clears throat> right now? That's... That's a little short notice. Fine, fine. Maybe later, then. What did you want to know about them? Do you have any family? Of course I do. See them pretty often? We're close? Yeah, yeah, that's true, I guess. Uh, nope. We don't live too far apart. That's very true. So we catch up when we can. That sounds nice. Do you enjoy the proximity? Uh, I do. Sometimes. I'm really close with my family. Yep. For better or worse. Been considering moving for a while so I can have some more space. I already moved away. Why would you need more space? I want to decorate a whole house. More room for collectibles. Things are getting a little cramped here. I want a garden, actually. More room for collectibles. Dude, I... All the Funko fucking pops I, I got, I need more space. Yeah, spray him with the spray bottle. Huh. I suppose that makes sense. My boat is quite small, but I've never thought of upgrading. I'm not sure if it's an option. Well, we'll find something. Together, Grim. Hey, you can come share a place with me. I didn't need an entire house to myself. Why would you want to live with me? Little mortal, you wouldn't like living with me. Do you hog the sheets, Grim? Snore super loud? Mmm, that's, that's, that's me right there. Snore super loud. That is not what I meant at all. And no, I do neither of these things. L I'm not a sheet hogger, okay? I can attest for that. Ginger can attest for that. She's the, ho the sheet hog, okay? <laughs> How do you know? Yeah, how do you know you snore? You don't snore, bro. Everybody I've ever met that's like, I don't snore. Literally, I sleep with them. They're snoring, bro. <laughs> the damn snoring. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad. Unless someone's there to tell you. Oh, Grim, we cannot be. You stole, you steal all the blankets and I was chilled to the bone. 
And you snored so loudly, I could not hear my own thoughts. Oh, the, the snoring's not a problem. You just pop in some earplugs, it's gone. You have a vivid imagination. But no, I do not sleep with others. I only fuck them. <laughs> I don't like to share my own space. So there's no way for me to convince you. I... Why would you ever want to live with me? I will never understand. You didn't even know I existed a week ago. Okay, that is a totally reasonable point to make. Very fair. But I want to. Exactly. But once this week is over, I'll own your soul. And then we can revisit this. You definitely will not. But sure. Backtracking a few steps then. My family. Um, I've got two moms, I've got two dads. My mom raised me alone, my dad, my... Uh, no, I got a mom and dad. And they raised me together. And I got a sister too. And I got a bunch of broskies. They're not really my broskies, but they are to me. It was actually... My parents' story is actually kind of wholesome. Love at first sight. Yeah. The moment their eyes met, they were drawn to one another. I think they're at like 27 years now? Damn. It's only it was fate. Maybe I revealed too much. Where's the sledgehammer? Some people need some bonks. Hit them with the bonks, boys. Hit them with the bonks. Hit them with the clock bonks, baby. Let's get them. Let's get them. Oops, I threw in a hydra. Just, just one little quick suck, you know? But kiss a homie. Then they were fortunate to find each other. Some soulmates never find their other half. Some wouldn't even know their soul called for another. Wait, so soulmates are an actual thing? How do you know if you find them? Oh? You wouldn't know. It's quite rare. Do I have one? How would I know? Seems like a question to ask yourself. <laughs> Dude, you just told me they, are, they exist and now you're just like, you just believe in it. Well, you seem quite interested in my soul. Wait, if someone else is my soulmate, you might take offense at you being so keen for my soul. Uh, well, sorry to them, but your soul belongs to me. So don't go getting any ideas thinking you can get out of our arrangement. Don't worry, Grim, you can mess my soul up. <laughs> Damn, you just totally foiled all of my plans. Do you have any siblings? I do, yeah. I've got a sister. <laughs> she's kind of way cooler than I am. Wrong. She's nerd. Two, she's my role model. Wrong. She's nerd. <laughs> she's watching this, which she might be. You're a nerd. <laughs> yeah, my family watches my videos sometimes. It's super cringe. Do you have any siblings, Grim? The things I have said on camera... The things I have said on camera... My sister hears it sometimes. It's concerning, actually. And I'm a straight guy. Damn. I do not. I thank the lords for that. You do give only child vibes, so I'm not surprised. How so? It's just the way you act sometimes. You're disgusted at the idea of sharing. Sometimes you're kind of demanding, dude. I take what I want, when I want it. Yeah, exactly. It's my right as a reaper. I bet if you had a sibling, they'd put you in your place. He's a reaper main on Overwatch, you know it. I know my place. Sure you do. So that's the family questions out of the way then? What's next? I require any names of mortals who tickle your fancy. What exactly do you need that for? I will have them taken care of. What? Taken care of? I think my idea of taken care of and yours are probably very different. Whatever do you mean? What will you do with the information? You plan to take their souls prematurely? Their souls? No, that would be against the code. I'll just... Make sure they do not get in my way. In my way of getting your soul, of course. 
Nothing else. Nothing whatsoever. Oh. I think I should keep those names to myself. Tell me. Immediately. It's definitely not the hot Daniel Catboy that's naked aproning right now. I'm signing up. It's sight error. Damn. I don't think so, mister. What if I command you to tell me? I would laugh at you for being edgy. You should do as you were told. There's no point in making this more difficult than it needs to be. Grimmy. I'm waiting, mortal. I'm Mimo. What? Mimo for the win! True. The game is called Please Be Happy. Wow, that looks great. I don't need random people getting in the way of my work. How exactly do you expect them to interfere? I do not wish to find out. So just give me the names and do not worry about it. There must be someone, correct? There's no one like that in my life, Grim. And there might be. They won't be an issue for much longer. I'll deal with it. As soon as you tell me who they are, I'll go deal with it right away. Someone is sounding a little jealous right now. Jealous? No, I'm serious about my work. Even if there was someone special in my life, they wouldn't be able to stop a Grim Reaper. I don't share, Sunshine. Share what? I don't share, Sunshine. Nice. You, obviously. Luckily for you, I don't have anyone special. Oh, well, I'm gonna get pegged by Ginger later. But why? Why is there no one else? What do you mean? Why do you not have someone? You are so perfect. So what? Uh, just, uh, how could you not have a special person? Are you asking me why I'm single right now? Because single assassins are in my area, I'm not- I will not hesitate. Yes, I do not understand. You're- well. Never mind. No, what were you gonna say? I'm what? Huh? Have you seen yourself? You trying to insult me or compliment me? Did I tell you how absolutely awful you look? <laughs> Grimace, you riz. You gotta work on a Grimace. <laughs> the Grizz. It's not there. Wow. <laughs> I did not. That would be because I cannot lie. So, surely people have asked to court you. Dump him and go for the assassins in my area. True. Um, nope. Sorry, bro, I've done all the courting. I've never actually dated anyone. Kinda true? I find that hard to believe. I'm not lying to you. I'm a loser. I'm a loser at love, okay? And you're my one chance, Grimace, to make things right. No one's ever asked me out. That's not a lie. Not one person has ever asked to court you. Nope, that's what I'm saying. No flowers or fancy dates. No chocolates on any or anything on Valentine's Day. All right, calm down, game. Why you gotta slander me like this, video game? And you're that in, and you are interested in that sort of thing. Food, flowers. <laughs> I think so. I don't need anything fancy, though. It would be nice to get some flowers or something. What about you, then, Grim? What about you, then? Oh, sorry, I said that. You said yesterday you've never been in love. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you never dated or had a crush on someone. Do not tell your wife about this game. True. Doesn't mean you've never dated or had a crush on someone. Any underworldlings take your fancy? Underworldlings? No. Then, any mortals? Dot dot dot. Well, 
And on to the final question. Right or left side of the bed? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Nuh-uh, Wags Finger. You haven't answered yet. I choose to pass. Left or right side? Um, what, what, what way are we looking at the bed? I guess I'm, I'm left. Noted. Those were all the questions I had prepared. So, oh, so you gonna ask me again why it took so long to respond? Whether I thought your approach to this little game was wrong. Fine, answer them this time, and then, was my approach wrong? This is cute in a weird way. Approach was fine, you just phrased things kind of strangely. I didn't know a clock had a wife, I'm not up with the clock lore, I guess. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got a wife, I've got some kids, I have a few husbands, um, husbandos, um, waifus. Um, I've got a cat boy for a cat. The harem. The the platonic harem. It's good. It's good stuff, I guess. I adopted Lofo. He may not have enjoyed that, but I'm still his father. No. I couldn't spawn degenerates like them. Cute in a weird way. The approach was fine, you just phrased things kind of strangely. Like you're interested, but don't want to seem too interested. It's, you're so obvious sometimes. It's sweet. There's one of my hus husbandos in chat, by the way. Spamming the poggies. Obvious. In what way? Obviously, really interested in getting to know me. Oh, also. You rambled to yourself again. Last time you did that was when we first met. I did not ramble then. Kind of did. Had a little chat to yourself. Nope. You were remembering incorrectly. I would not make such a fool of myself. I am the Grim Reaper. That was just a bug in the code. If you say so, Grimace. I was simply testing the program to ensure it ran correctly. Jesus, 3 a.m., 2 a.m., guys, you can go to sleep, it's okay. Catch the VOD, okay? It's got, it'll go up in a couple days. Simply tested the program to ensure it ran correctly, that is all. Well, it definitely did. I saw them just in time to witness something hilarious. Just in time to bear witness to my shame. Red as you yelled, fuck me. <laughs> Definitely a way to introduce yourself to someone. I'm never going to let you live it down. Oh, yay. I'm so joyful at the prospect. How lovely. Fantastic, even. Yeah, it's eight for me, too. I'm glad. Oh, yep. Yes or yes? Wait, I have no choice. Smiley face. Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Little Reaper? I was simply bored of typing out my responses to your stupidity. That's, uh, a little rude. You are the one spouting nonsense. I know you don't really mind. You wouldn't talk to me all this time if you did. Sorry guys, auto mods on. Gotta have some safe words. You just take my soul and be done with it. Right? I'll, I'll pick it when the time is right. There's nothing wrong with taking my time. Someone's struggling! You'd be running low on time, though. Two days, and then your soul is mine, remember? That will not be happening. How can you be sure? Statistically speaking, I'm just as likely to win this bet as you are. Another foolish assumption. Uh, I did not say that word. Or else I would have just ended stream. Banned myself. 
Reaper outclass uh, Reaper outclass is a human in every way. Statistically, you cannot win. I do not struggle. I think I'm doing a decent job so far. There's a lot of things I said, though, that are just god-awful in that game. Go check out Class of 09, by the way, if you haven't already. Considering I'm still, you know, alive. It was pretty funny, that game. Not gonna lie. Maybe I'm just letting you have it until the last possible moment. Maybe you just can't take it. <laughs> you are fortunate, you know. Oh, yeah? Fortunate I was the Reaper assigned to your case. Another would not put up with you like I do. Well, yeah, I do feel lucky to have met you. That is enough meaningless chatter. What were you doing, mortal? Right now. I'm talking to you. That much is obvious. I meant before that. I apologize. I forgot to- I have to be awfully clear with you. You and your small brain. It's very wrinkly, though. <laughs> I'm not a smooth brain, I swear. <laughs> Someone's being nosy. Just answer the question. Such a bossy boy. Well... Hmm, before your 50 questions, there wasn't 50. It was nowhere near 50. Are you that poor at counting? <laughs> your nearly 50 questions, I was... Well, not doing much, actually. Hanging out around my apartment. Max was acting a little strange earlier. I thought she might be getting sick. But she perked right up. I suppose I just have a healing presence. Maybe you do. I actually just got home from work, but I have the next few days off. Whoops, 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 whoops sorry. You do. Figured if I was gonna die, I didn't want to spend my last days at work. But I know I'll be fine anyway. So I'm just gonna enjoy my little at-home vacation. I see. And your plans for later. Uh, maybe I'll go for a walk or something. I do like walking in the park. Have one of those delicious hot chocolates. That's only like a block or so down the road. Very convenient. So you won't be out too long. I'll probably go tomorrow. It's a little late now. But I shouldn't be long. Unless I get lost somewhere along the way. I'd like to think that you will not. Of course I won't. I was just pulling your leg. Leave my legs out of this. I don't appre I don't appreciate them being pulled. <laughs> Who's been pulling on your legs, man? <laughs> Grim, you're so dumb. I think I'm quite smart, actually. Anyway, good. This works for me. Stay right there, huh? Call ended. Huh? Oi, Grim, what's going on, eh, mate? Did you accident accidentally hang up? British L. It was no accident. Oh. Do your kids like Skibbity Toilet? Nobody likes Skibbity Toilet, unironically. Just hold on a minute. We're a bit longer than that, maybe. Just wait. What exactly am I waiting for? Just wait. I I do know the Skibbity lore. I I watched it all. Uh, yep, I know it all. That's why I said no one unironically likes it. You step back from your computer. You're not sure what you're waiting for exactly. But you might as well hang out until he messages you again. That you can appreciate what the guy's done 
after watching it all, I'm kind of understanding it a bit, but I don't know about liking it. Okay. Spend a little time with Max and check the moisture of your sprout. Eventually, you can't find anything fun to do while you wait for Grim to give back in contact. Honestly, it worries you a little just how dependent you've been on talking to him. Lie back on your bed, staring at the ceiling. You only met up five days ago, but it feels like a lifetime you've known each other. Putting aside the fact that he's the Grim Reaper, you've honestly never enjoyed someone's company as much as his. Okay, we're not explaining Skibbity Toilet in chat. I believe, I think MatPat explained it. Or you could, uh, I think, um, there's a few, like, big content creators who talked about Skippy Toilet. Go check them out. I'm not going to be the one to do it. <laughs> it's a little confusing. You full well that the strange feeling in your heart is, but you try to put it aside. As fun as talking to him is, he's still the Grim Reaper. You wander back over to your computer. It's been around 30 minutes now. It's still nothing. Disappointed, you go to turn away. When you see an incoming call. Yeah, yes or yes. Welcome back. Look up. Call ended. Look up. Oh no. You look up from your computer out towards the night sky. Down on the other side of your currently closed window. Oh, I hear ra rave music? <laughs> oh my god. Is there a rave out there? On the other side of your currently closed window, you see something so surprising you're sure you must be imagining it. Gasp. He's just floating there. Oh great, now I'm seeing things. Why are you still there even after I rub my eyes? Now that face is priceless. Well worth the trip here, I have to say. Grimace? Don't call that don't call me that to my face. It's embarrassing enough hearing it over our calls. Ah, it's Casper. That's <laughs> no, no, what? Wait, your name's Casper? <laughs> Not a in the most <laughs> well in the most serious way i can say this that's really cute okay that your name is casper in the funniest way possible you really had to be casper the ghost kid huh this is casper all grown up folks they are uh, they they upgraded him <laughs> casper hello sunshine you look like you've <laughs> you look like you've seen a ghost. Maybe I have. Can't stay awake. Go to sleep, dude. Uh, one that is kind of sexy. I'm far from a ghost clock. Are you sure? Certain. So you'll admit to being sexy then? That much is obvious. I am lovely to look at after all. Perhaps not as lovely to look at as you though. Oh, he's putting the riz on me this time. Oh. Which one? Which you should know to be truthful. Because, as you know well, I cannot lie. Good night, Red Skull. Thanks for popping in. Uh, am I fluster- uh, uh, am I flustering you? Your cheeks are red. <laughs> it's just a real warm in here, dude. A cat? Just a literal sauna. Mm-hmm. So hot tonight. Yep. Are you trying to avoid my gaze right now? Stop hiding your face. I'm trying to look at you. <gasps> get in here, dude. Just get on the bed. Get in the chair in the corner, actually. <laughs> it's no need to be shy anyway. You're lovely. There's nothing to be shy about. <laughs> You're staring too much. Ah. Nice to see you looking flustered for a change. Grim. Casper. <laughs> I much prefer Grimace, honestly, at this point. Going to sleep as well. Have a good one, man. Casper, then. Yes, mortal. How are you even here? Wait a second. I live on the fifth floor. You do. Not too much of an inconvenience for me, luckily. <laughs> How are you even standing, sitting, whatever you're doing there? I'm neither sitting nor standing. I can literally see you on the other side of this window. Congratulations. Would you like an award? But you'll find I'm floating. 
Yeah, you got the Deku power up. What the hell? Okay, I'll, I'll add this to the list of things I wasn't expecting today. I feel like I've been cheated out of some very important information about you. Since when can you fly? Since always. Why do you act so surprised? You're floating five stories up from the ground. Wait. Can't people see you? You think I would be so careless? N no? I've cast a glamour. Oh. I have lots of those in Final Fantasy. Silly me, of course. Obviously you've cast a glamour. Are you invisible, then? Invisible? No. I've taken another form to everyone's eyes but yours. So my neighbors aren't going to see a mysterious man floating outside of my window. If they were to look, they'd simply see a raven and some crazy guy talking to a raven. <laughs> you should have picked the bat. A raven, of course. Not a good choice. You have a predictable side to you sometimes. But I do need to know. Yes. How exactly did you find me? You think I didn't know where you lived? I never told you. I know everything about you, sunshine. So I assume you've come to claim it. My soul, that is. I had a good run, I suppose. No, I'm not actually here for that. You aren't. I knew you can't lie, but that sounds like a lie. It's not. I know. You just dropped by to say hi, then. No. I'm here because... We're gonna... F I have something. Um, something here with me. Hidden. Something to give to you. Here. Ha! The flowers. You said you'd like some. You... You got me flowers. I didn't think to ask what type of flowers you liked, so... I picked ones that looked like you. The brightest, sunniest flowers I could find. Smiley face. Dot dot dot. Casper. Yes, mortal. Thank you. You know, if you want them, you're gonna have to open the window. <laughs> Wait a second, with the windows not even open this whole time? Oh, of course. Are you gonna come in? Are you inviting me in? Are you a vampire? I promise to try and be good. Um, then please do, come in. Uh, though I am greatly pleased by the invitation. Maybe next time, little human. Next time it is, I'll hold you to that. Yeah, he really did just get sunflowers for his sunshine. What a shame, but fine. But you really will have to open it at least a crack if you want these. Open the window a crack. Here we go. You're quite the risk taker, aren't you? Are you telling me I should be scared? I'm simply making an observation. What fun would life be if we were if we weren't taking at least a few risks. Mm. Here you go, clock. Reach for the flowers. Your hands are really warm. Yours are quite cold, even through the gloves. They're really pretty. How can hands be pretty? I, I meant the flowers. But your hands are quite pretty too, now that you mention it. Then I'd say your hands are also very, um, nice. Who would have thought hands could be so alluring? What are you whispering about now? I really must be on my way. I've accomplished the thing as I wanted to do. So soon. Duty calls. Duty always calls. Off to steal souls then. Better theirs than yours, wouldn't you say? Huh. No. You can just hand over yours now if you want. Better get to work before you get in trouble, my little reaper. And since when am I yours? Since the moment we met. 
Don't be damaging my goods here. So demanding. Casper. Clock. Do be careful. Since you asked so nicely, I'll try my best. Don't forget to close that window after I leave. Wouldn't want anyone crawling in when you aren't looking. What are you gonna do? Bro, what are you gonna do? You gonna crawl in my window? Day five, done. Nice. Getting closer for fun time in the sheets with Grim. It really is. You went out for a few errands today, but mostly you hung around at home. It was a good chance for a little out of season spring cleaning. All day you kept an eye out for Casper and his attempts to take your soul, but there was nothing. No strange fires or collapsing elevators or brakes cut on the bus. Today, for the first time in a long time, nothing strange happened to you. For some reason, it felt weirder than if something had. <laughs> Why, you didn't try to murder me? That's crazy. Check on Max. Max seems to be doing well today. Sit down on the bed next to her and think towards the future. If you ever managed to afford a house with the market looking like it is, you... I want more cats. <laughs> right now in my life. What's better than one cat, two or three? For now, you enjoy Max's company immensely. You hope that? Grim Reaper and Strange Soul notwithstanding, you have many fun times ahead of you together. True. Tell Max a joke. What's a cat's favorite dessert? You ask Max. Max doesn't reply, but you know she can't wait for the punchline. Mice cream! Max doesn't laugh. In fact, you think Max looks to be judging you heavily. Well, you enjoyed the joke at least. <laughs> nice. Uh, my plant? Then we'll do some eavesdropping. The buds on your little plant seems to be doing well. I can't believe how healthy it is. Nice. Yo, you hear footsteps from the hallway. I wonder if it's your neighbors again. Eavesdrop. You hear a sniffling coming from the hallway, then the sound of someone sliding down to the floor. You imagine someone is currently leaning against the doorway of their apartment. You hear a fumbling, the sound of someone digging through their bag, searching for something, then a sigh. A ringing, the sound of someone who desperately seeks another, and then finally a voice. Mom, are you there? Can you talk right now? A light and airy voice starts. No, I'm fine. No, I wasn't crying. I just wanted to talk for a bit, if that's okay. Hey yo. <laughs> Another sniffle. Nothing happened, really. I'm just confused. I, I lost my keys, but I'll worry about that in a minute. The silence for a minute. You imagine their mother is currently fretting, trying to console their child, despite not knowing what's wrong. Have you ever liked someone so much that's made you terrified? I really like them, Mom. I've only known them for like a week, but I feel like it's been so much longer, and I'm scared. This vulnerability in that voice, immense vulnerability. The voice is like a plea to something they cannot see, like a wish upon a star. I want to understand them, I want to make things work, but I'm scared I'll make things worse. I'm scared that neither of us are what we expect of each other. The fear of not living up to expectations, the fear of misunderstandings, such human emotions. I know, Mom. I know I shouldn't talk to them, but it's so much. It's like there's this weight, this secret between us, and I don't know how to bridge the gap. This is boring eavesdropping, by the way. <laughs> I think I heard them say something last night, something important, but they didn't open up completely, and I'm torn between wanting to know and being afraid of what I might discover. An internal struggle, a deep desire. But Mom, I can't stay away. I've never believed in fate, but this is... I just... I need some guidance. What do I do? Silence again. This sounds like my sister calling my mom. Jesus. Ugh. Imagine their mother is speaking words of wisdom filled with kindness, love, and worry. Okay, I'll go talk to them tomorrow and make a decision. Thank you, Mom. I love you. The sound of the call ending reaches you even beyond the hallway, and then the silence. You hope they find their keys. Yeah, sure. Let's get on that PC and talk to Death himself. Talk to Casper. <laughs> his name wait a second what did i have open here again oh yeah that's right the truth yes please all right all right um i keep looking at the flowers these flowers are beautiful grim we gotta change our profile picture to the egg today i think that's what chat wanted egg perfect uh, I guess I should call you Casper. <laughs> call me whatever you wish to. 
You really know how to sweep me off my feet, Grim. <laughs> Egg. They're really pretty. Good. I'm glad to see they're appreciated. The struggle was worth it. The struggle? You don't have any florists near you? <laughs> Call him. No, I'm good. Never mind. That's, that's his title for me? Excuse you? You don't have any florists near you? These aren't from a florist. And no, there are no florists here. Did you grow them yourself? No. They would not bloom like this here. Flowers are rare. And do I look like some sort of gardener to you? Yeah, you really give gardener vibes. How'd you get them then? I took them from the front yard of a mortal woman. <laughs> I believe she is what your kind refer to as a grandmother. You stole from an old lady. Ah, old people. Oh, God. In her defense, she gave good chase. I was impressed. <laughs> he did it as a human? She chased you down, bro? She certainly tried her best. But there was no hope for her to catch me. Either way, they're in much better hands with you. Grim. I've got something of a green thumb, green thumb luckily. I've got a plant on, by my bed. It's growing nicely. Maybe I've, got, maybe I've got the magic touch. Oh, I've got the magic hands. Grim. A magic touch. Hmm. I feel like you're insinuating something here. I'm talking about the plant. Oh, yes. The plant. I was just talking about you in general. Wow, we Mr. Flirt over here. Your hands were very soft. I could tell even through my gloves. Soft and warm. Shh, you. Shh, me all you want. It is the truth. I feel as though if I reached out... Our hands would fit each other's perfectly. Are you trying to tell me something? Perhaps. I'll leave that to you to leave that to you to decide. So I'm just wondering something. Are you feeling okay today? Why wouldn't I be feeling okay? You're just acting very flirtatious. If so, then I'm being successful in my endeavor. I wasn't gonna come out and say it, but yeah, yeah. I've read that flirting is a human custom. Custom? Indeed. To flirt with another is to show them that they are significance to yourself. Or you would like them to be of significance to yourself. You getting his riz on? True. So, I'm of significance to you? You are what I hunt most greatly over everything else. I would say that makes you significant. My research into various flirting methods say that at least anyway. Room. You've researched flirting methods. I can't not kiss him, Ad. <laughs> Go away. No. Slug. Slug boy. Slug. You're cute. Cute and stupid. It's neither cute nor stupid. It's practical. How close are we to get Glizzy Goblin him? I think we're very close. Hey, see, ironic. Thanks for popping in, dude. I'm ensuring the possibility of the best result. This is what I do best. Adapt to be whatever is needed. And what would be the best result for you? Thanks for the, the goodbye hydrate. That is something you... That is something you do not need to know. It is obviously taking your soul, weakening your resolve enough to trick you. Ah, uh, sure. All business, huh? Mortal, I wish I could say I hated you. You are aggravating. Too bad you can't lie, huh? Shut up. You're too nosy and annoying, and I will think of more things later. You are surprisingly very soft and cautious. No words that have ever been used to describe me. The more I get to know you, the less Grim Reaper you seem. Maybe I've shown too much of my true self to you. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I have a true self. I exist for my role beyond that. I think you're plenty. I like talking with you, seeing new sides of you. Isn't it refreshing to just be you? You could just be Casper. It's nice, I suppose. You called me flirtatious, but I believe you were the flirty one here. Me? Never. I've been flirting since the start. 
I see that now. I cannot fault you. I'm a catch after all. <laughs> Bro, you can't say it. You can't hit me with the... He hit me with the emoji right after. Alright, well. True. Do do do. Why the dooting? That's you tooting your own horn. Wow. Mature. Yeah, I didn't say you were wrong. Well, even if you were only flirting with me to get to my soul. Can't say I mind all that much. Flirt away. Salute. 07. What is an 07? It's a salute, doofus. Ah, yes. I see now. I've never seen this salute. Perhaps I shall adopt it. <laughs> Can I get some salutes in chat? <laughs> ah, I've come up with another. <laughs> this one is a wave. Truly groundbreaking stuff, Grim. Yeah, we're making it up as we go. By the way, won't you get in trouble? For flirting. Well, that is not allowed, of course. No, 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 for telling me classified information. Enlighten me. What classified information have I shared with you? Casper. Yes. You said your name is highly classified. Not for mortal ears, right? Ah, that. Maybe some rules are worth breaking. Hearing you call me grim in person made me feel cringe. <laughs> Who taught you that word? I felt cringe and not based. I am down with the internet lingo clock. I know about cringe, pog, riz. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, he knows he's been cringed the whole time. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, he's been watching the streams. He definitely just learned Riz today. I've even heard more of this, baby girl. Please don't say that. <laughs> just never say those things again. <laughs> Your opinion has been noted and subsequently disregarded, Sunshine. But seriously, your name was actually classified? Correct. If anyone comes and asks me about it, then it is best if you keep quiet. Captor, Captor, Casper says quit trolling at some point, I'm gonna die. <laughs> True. I doubt anyone will anyways. <laughs> You're gonna have my soul by tomorrow, right? Right. Always best to be cautious anyway. Though you aren't the most cautious person. You are allowed a t you allowed a total stranger to install a messaging program on your computer. Excuse me, sir, you hacked my computer. Then fell in love at first sight with his handsome face and charming personality. The flowers suit you. I just noticed that his little profile pic says. Oh no, you are a dork. <laughs> ha! I am far from a dork. <laughs> Man's been listening to T Pain. I'm charming and good looking. Charming and good looking dork. Charming part could go either way though. Though I cannot lie, I am incapable. I am capable of seeing through them, little human. Winky face. Now that we are both here, though, on a much more serious note, I must admit to you that other than giving you flowers, I had another ulterior motive for my visit. I knew it. Don't misunderstand, Clock. I wanted to give you those flowers. I also wanted to test out a theory I had. All right, what was it then? I was experiencing another bout of soul sickness yesterday. It's a less severe case, but still an awful experience. Again, it's really a common thing for you Reapers, huh? Actually, no, well, it never used to be for me. You see, I seem to be more susceptible lately. Which leads me to an important question. Why? Did you find out why? Let's do this over a call. Wait, is it serious? Are you gonna die? Uh, do you have some extra serious soul disease? Is it curable? Is it really bad? If you plan to tell me you're dying, I'm gonna answer. I'm not gonna answer, okay? I don't think I'm dying. 
<laughs> no, no, not the, not the quotes. You gave him an. I haven't, I haven't touched him yet. Okay, there. You're really not inspiring confidence right now. No, listen. I swear, you mortals are so bad at listening. Oh my god, but there are single assassins in my area. You, in particular. We talked about this the other day. Think back on it. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, I remember, bro. Good. Do you remember how I felt the day after my sickness? You were fine. It made no sense. I thought it was just a mere coincidence that after the linking of our minds, the symptoms disappeared. He is dying to get with me. True. You jokingly claim to be healing me with your presence. And then yesterday. What about it? What's going on? That morning I was ferrying souls across the life stream. And it was like... Hells, if they trace this conversation, the two of us may suffer for all of eternity. <laughs> uh, at least we'd be suffering together then. Smiley face. You always look on the bright side of things, don't you? Uh, I try. Pick the right flowers for you. Bright like a sunflower. Anyway, this is important. You seem very stressed about this. Tell me. Maybe I can help. Then answer the call, and we can discuss it. Yep. Yes or yes. Hey. <laughs> Did you say? <laughs> um, yo. Well, to put it bluntly. Yes. I think it's because of you. Yeah, you're definitely causing it. Ow. Ow. Me? What exactly is because of me? The soul sickness I'm experiencing. I've gotten it much more since I've known you. What the? Maybe you're just too radiant. I knew the nickname Sunshine fit you. <laughs> um, don't you get that from souls? I'm alive. Yes, it is from souls. Yet I've suffered from it regardless. You trying to say I'm doing this on purpose? I'm not really trying to make you sick. I'm not saying you were the cause of the sickness, but I do think you were the cause of why I seem to be more susceptible to it. You're not making any sense. What does that mean? Me. Me, IRL. So seeing me yesterday made you sick, huh? No, my soul was unbalanced before I came to you. I came to you to see if it would go away. That was my theory. Uh, okay. Weird theory. But that's just a game theory. But it did. Sunshine, it did. What? Did it do it on purpose, then? Do you have any clue what you're doing? No, I have no idea what you're even saying. What are you talking about? It's your soul. You're giving it away, so to speak. Oh, lovely. I'm just handing it out for free. I gotta start charging for that. He needs you... He needs me inside of him. That's that's a better conversation starter right there. How would I even... Do you ever wish, mortal? Feel something so strongly, want for something so badly. There are things I have been wanting for strongly by the last few days. It is infuriating. Oh, tell me more. Uh, of course. You said that Max was ill yesterday, correct? Now she's fine, yes. Uh, yeah, perfectly normal. What are you getting at, exactly? I think you did it then as well. You're giving parts of yourself away. To your sick pet. To your plant. To me. Things you want to be healthy. Things you want to live. Oh. Damn, am I really bad that, that bad at raising a goddamn plant? Bro, I've just been watering it. I think you're taking the taint away. Or maybe... Neutralizing it. I don't know. Please, never take the taint away. You need that, Grim. It'd be really weird to look at without a taint. I got an even better look at your soul when I visited you. I understand the pulsing now. It's because you don't have a full soul. I don't have a full soul? Is this gonna uh, affect the fairing of my soul to the afterlife thing? I have never seen a soul that is not full. So I cannot answer your question. But if you were to give it all away, well, I assume you would just simply cease to be. Oh. Just like that, and I'm nothing. I... 
I would never forget you, our time together. You were rather unforgettable. I think that fact will cause me much trouble in the future. You think I'm special? Smiley face. So, maybe try to be careful. Don't wish too hard is all I'm saying. Uh, how about a shotgun wedding? What? Yeah, let's get married right now. You know, you're trying to take my soul and everything. If that doesn't happen, I'll accidentally give away my soul all by myself. If I'm not going to be around long, I'd rather cross a few things off my bucket list first. And this bucket list of yours involves marriage. Yeah, I've always wanted to get married. Marriage is whatever, but it might be fun to do. I didn't care about getting married before I met you. Put a ring on it. <laughs> it you... Ugh. We're talking about something serious, you know. Then you start spouting nonsense about marriage. It's not nonsense, I'm totally serious. <laughs> His fucking face, dude. That's great. Let's... Let's worry about your soul for now. Working out why you are, why you are, how you are. Marriage. <clears throat> we can talk about it later. Yeah. By the way, Casper. Have you ever heard of Casper the Friendly Ghost? Excuse me. The way you can jump from topic to topic is remarkable. You ought to be studied. I don't do that. You're excused, so yes or no? I have not heard of it. So I suppose the answer is so I suppose the answer is no. Damn. You're Casper the friendly ghost. You kinda have the vibe going for you. A friendly ghost vibe. I am neither of those things. <laughs> you have your friendly moments, sometimes. Occasionally. And I'm not certain you aren't a ghost. You're awfully pale. Well, I'm certain that I'm not a ghost. Like I've said many times, you really do have a vivid imagination. Must you let it run so wild all the time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if it annoys you, it makes me want to do it more. Of course it does. Your behavior is certainly odd. I've never met another mortal like you. Not that I've spoken to many mortals, but you get the idea. <laughs> what can I say? I thoroughly enjoy bullying you. True. I like seeing you flustered. It makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Yep. Small brains are so easily amused. <laughs> you just call me smart. Thanks. You aren't welcome in the slightest. Don't you want to know what I imagined about you with this vivid imagination of mine? <gasps> Gasp. Aw, oh, poor Casper. It's my little blushing maiden. I am... Not a maiden, nor am I blushing. You are obviously blind. Sure, you never blush, of course. Bat your eyelashes at him. Stop that. You sure you don't want to know? I am intrigued. But you also look rather pleased with yourself right now. That makes me not want to know. <laughs> You're missing out then, little reaper. Have it your way. But you would have liked it. You know, you come a long way, huh? You seem less edgy than when we first met. I was never edgy. I am death. There it is. Still, you say stuff like that a lot less. I... I don't believe I'm... I don't believe I've changed all that much. I am the same as always. Nothing has changed. Nope. Not my feelings or anything. Not at all. Mighty suspicious, Casper. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're friends now? I don't see you as a friend. Ah, I see. It kind of hurts, you know. Didn't have to say it right to my face. Ouch. You misunderstand. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Fuck. I thought you were more perceptive than this. <laughs> I have been flirting with you for days. <laughs> yes, and... What's going on? Hells. Dot dot dot. It's not something I expected. I could have never expected this. It's not something I chose. It's it's a terrible idea all around, honestly. <laughs> to not want to be friends? Stop talking. I 
Dot, dot, dot. I enjoy your company. I really enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it too much. Way too much. Why? Why me? Why do I have to feel like this? It's unfair, honestly. I've done nothing but follow the rules up until now. I have been a good reaper. My KDA has been amazing in Overwatch. Now my heart tells me to throw it all away. What are you talking about? What do you mean by too much? Man, I need to hydrate, dude. I'm dying. <laughs> I didn't expect to, to feel like this. I feel so strongly. It was supposed to just be another job. Are supposed to be another job. You don't think like that anymore. Your soul is one I must collect. There's no way out of it. It's my job as a reaper. It's a task I must fulfill. But I, I find myself wanting to disobey. To break all the rules I've so carefully followed until this week. What did I miss? You missed everything. We already got the, we already banged him. We already did it all. Did everything. So why don't you? If I do, they'll just send someone else. I'm easily replaceable. I'm one of thousands. I am legion. You're not replaceable to me. But that's not what I'm trying to say exactly. What do you mean I can't bang the other reapers? Okay, what is it you want to tell me then? What am I trying to say is that I... I don't want to be friends. Ah, well shit. I don't want that at all. I found myself wanting to be selfish. Because I want more. More from you. More than friendship. So you want me to pay on our, like, friend dates? Shit. You like me. S somehow. I like you, Clock. I don't know why or how or what to do about it, but I... I like you very much. It angers me that how much I can't hate you. Dear gods above, this is the most embarrassing thing I have ever done. Do not perceive me. Oh, I'm gonna perceive... I should, but instead you've you've done this to me, ruined me completely. Damn, I'm I'm a little fucked up, man. I really messed up this Grim Reaper. Anyway, cool. Now that it's all said and done, I'm going to go. Time for a long cold shower. Call ended. Nice. Wow, you really said all that, then just left. Come back. I really did that and just left. You don't need to be so shy. I'm not being shy. Sounds like something a shy person would say. You'll find I'm actually quite forward. A shy person wouldn't be so straightforward about their desires. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't happen in a week, okay? So you still desire me? That should be obvious to you. Well, you do need a cold shower now. That is unrelated. I must wash my hair, that's all. Glad I had that effect on you. <laughs> Smiley face. I can just imagine the smirk on your face. You are a wicked man, mortal. By the way, since it's somewhat topical, do you ever get your, do you ever cut your hair? You don't like my hair? Huh. <laughs> no, I absolutely do. I was just curious. It's very long, it must have taken a long time to grow. I don't. There's no need for me to cut it anyway. I can't imagine you with shorter hair. Give him the bowl cut. Slap it on him. The long hair is kind of iconic. I agree. Just keep growing it then. No. But you just said... My hair does not grow like a mortal's. Mine has simply always been this way. So if someone attacked you with scissors, it wouldn't grow back? <laughs> Do you plan to attack me with scissors? As fun as it would be to see with short hair, no. I wouldn't do that to you. That's just mean. And I quite like I also imagine the revenge you'd get on me. So no haircuts for you. Uh, I don't want one either though. I do, but fortunately, I never offered you a haircut. I was just making sure you knew not to cut it for me. I'm a reaper, not a hairdresser. Wait a second. You were born with that hair that long? Ugh. I can just imagine it now. Tell him to come over. Oh god. I can't imagine a baby with hair is like yours. 
misunderstand. I suppose I haven't ever really explained. I was not born. I was never a baby or a child. I was created solely for my purpose as a Grim Reaper. I've always looked the way I do now. Oh, I mean, that, that makes sense. Kind of be weird to be sending a baby to go do Grim Reaper jobs. That'd be odd. But what, were, what about before you were a Reaper? It was not a before. Well, to be honest, I do not know what was before. It's classified, even for me. All I know is that we were created somehow, then given our job. That is why I seem to live for my job. I literally do. <laughs> Could you have been human once? Maybe they wiped your memories. I could not guess. I suppose it's possible. I have a soul, so it came from somewhere. I'm not totally artificially created, I think. So what happens if you want to quit? I would probably be forcefully terminated. Baby Grim is probably fine. Oh no. That doesn't sound healthy. No, I would say death is not healthy. Anyway, speaking of hair and all that, I'm gonna go wash mine now. Still need that cold shower, huh? We'll talk to you later, sunshine. Thank you for answering my confession with how about a haircut, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow, clock. The last day of our bet. Good night. Until tomorrow, Casper. Okay, um... New items added to the gallery. Completed day six. Now, mm, I only have one day left. I'm gonna really tr quickly try to finish up the last day, okay? We're gonna try to finish this up. You woke up early this morning feeling particularly well-rested. No one came for your soul in the night, which means today is the final day of your bet. You almost can't control your, contain your excitement. After all, you seem to have this in the bag. Decide not to go out anywhere today. It's safer to stay at home and write out your win. It's still early in the morning as you wait for the eventual message from your own personal Grim Reaper. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep petting my cat. Check on Max. Max is lazing around happily. For some reason, you feel oddly nostalgic today sitting next to Max. You're certain you'll win your bet, but you still give Max some extra love. Anything could happen, after all. Tell Max you love her. You want to tell Max how much you love her for 15 minutes? It's not enough. She deserves even more. Get Max some treats, hang out together, and overall just enjoy each other's company this morning. You love Max so much, words cannot even come close to describing how you feel. And in return, you feel immense love for Max as she purrs and sits on your lap. Oh, my flowers are alive. That's good. Water my plants. Little Sprout has grown up happily and healthily, all because of you, and today, he rewards you with four beautiful flowers. Have your Sprout grow beautiful flowers. What are your plan? Feel a sense of accomplishment. Ah, fuck the door, man. I need to know the conclusion of this story, actually. The hallway beyond is quiet. It seems you missed the ending to the story. Oh, never mind. I guess because we missed two days, I guess, I guess you don't get the conclusion to the eavesdropping story. I'm fine with that. It wasn't that good. <laughs> Check your computer. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, whoops. That was in the chat room. That was paint. Good morning, Casper. What a lovely day it is. The sun is shining. The, sun is, the shine is always shining, whether you can see it or not. <laughs> the new face. The new profile picture. Here, I'll change mine, too. We'll change it to, we'll change it to, um, the ghost. Ghost face. We'll change it to this, actually. I like the wah, the wah face. Yeah. The sun, the shine is always shining. But sure, I imagine it's a nice day for you. You're so wise. But what I was getting at is, was that it's such a lovely day. Today. The day is fine. My little reaper, you're about to run into time. Ah, the day has come already. It seems time has run away from me. But there is no issue. No? Be grateful, because I am allowing you a few more hours. I am infinitely kind. Oh wow, your generosity knows no bounds. How will I ever say thank you? Thank me by not resisting this any further. It is difficult enough as it is. Hand over what remains of your soul, please. Uh, where's the fun in that? 
You were difficult right until the end. Don't you like the chase? Oh my god, message me. Oh my god, where it happened to Slug Boy? Damn. No Slug Boy messages. What the hell? <laughs> sure, in moderation. I feel like I've been chasing you your entire life. Aw, oh, Grim's been chasing me. Heart. Yes, well, your soul is in you, so I need to chase you, stupid. You're romantic at heart, Casper. Mortal, on the last day of your life, I find it only fair that I share with you what I've discovered. You've been studying, Grimmy. Yes. As I said yesterday, your soul's incomplete because you keep giving parts of it away. Something that is usually not possible for a mortal. That answered some of my questions. Oh, I'm not immortal. I am immortal. Why your soul seems to be feel so strange. How you managed to take my soul sickness away. But it didn't answer enough. I have so many more questions. But I found the answer. Huh? <gasps> Gasp. Lay it on me, Casper. Clock. You embody life. Just as I embody death. I'm God? Wait a second. I'm Jesus? My research led me to a rare trait that shows... Maybe only every thousand or so years an immortal, you have the touch of life on your soul. You are life, so to speak. That's why I've not been able to take your soul. That's how you avoid death without a thought. That's why you can heal as you do. You are special. You've always been special. Nah, don't worry about that. So I'm immortal now. I am unsure. Perhaps. There's only one way to find out. That will be me trying to take your soul one final time. Really? Please don't blow up my house. It doesn't sound like it'll work for you. And you've left it so la left it to the last minute. If you really wanted it that badly, I don't think you would have let time slip. Oh, I know. It's because you're in love with me, right? I, I, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Probably. You said it yesterday, right? You like me. You want to hate me, but you can't. Must be frustrating for you, little reaper. Nice. Unless you've changed your mind? My mind. Perhaps I could sway. My heart is not so weak. Ahem. I cannot let my feelings get in the way of my work. Your soul must be taken. If, if I am not the one to take it, if I let you go, then, then someone else would come for you, and I would be terminated. You can hang around and protect me. Eh uh -huh. I can keep away your soul sickness, and you can keep the other reapers away. Casper and Clock on the run together forever. Aye, that sounds... I must see this competition, this bet, through to the end. God knows what awaits us at the end of it. I know already. Yeah, sex. I win. Keep your soul and you. Oh wait, no, that's me. I win. Keep your soul and you. Uh, no, no, I will win. I am the Grim Reaper. Casper, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> mortals, mortals fear me. Just you wait. I don't mind waiting a little longer. <laughs> I mean, it's been a whole week already of you being unsuccessful, bro. Can't wait to take a bite out of your soul. Dream all you want, sunshine. I fully intend to keep my soul. <laughs> when did you learn to be sarcastic? Use that to get around not being able to lie too, don't you? I have not spoken a single lie. There is always exceptions to rules, sweetheart. Ah, I'm your sweetheart. Don't get ahead of yourself. I didn't mean it like that. You can be my sweetheart, too. You know what? Maybe I should come and take it now, after all. <sighs> you called me sweetheart first. Deal with it, my love. Hells. Come on, honey. No need to be so shy. Shut. Shut that mortal mouth of yours. I. You can't just come out and call me that. I can feel you blushing from the other side of my computer screen, bro. Darling. That's it. I'm changing your nickname. Oh? I can't wait to see what you come up with. You are truly a nightmare. Nightmare. My little nightmare. 
for a second, it was insulting. Then you added my. Now I kind of like it. Let's stick with sunshine. I don't mind what you use. Use either. Use both. Right. Well, since you've so graciously given me a few more hours, what are you actually going doing, considering you aren't reaping my soul? Nothing much. Contemplating, thinking, it is not going very well. Oh, that's deep. Thinking about me, huh? Why would I ever do that? Because you like me. Shall we take this conversation to a call, sunshine? Oh, want to hear my voice that badly? Oh, I, I could have called him Baby Girl. Oh my god, that would have been good. D damn. Who am I to deny such a request? Yep. Can't resist me, can you, Casper? Don't say my name like that. Oh, why not? Casper? Don't you like a cute guy calling out to you like that? I... I am unused to such thing, such attention. I don't usually go around getting to know my prey. I'd hope not. It pains me that I cannot argue with that. Oh, by the way, you can't sneak out of answering my question properly so easily. Fine. You must know, I was doing my skincare routine while thinking about you. I mean about your soul. While I plucked I pop some pimples. Uh, I was popping pimples, bro. Exfoliating my skin. My Grim Reaper has a skincare routine. My skincare routine consists of just a bar of soap. Awkward. Am I getting called out right now? For the bar of soap? Skincare routine? I, I like to think of that as a good one, okay? I'd I, I like to think I got good skin if all I need is a bar of soap, right? Of course I do. Should be obvious that I care about my looks. What do you do for skincare then? Twice a day. Twice a day? Twice a day? And you were telling me you were busy. Cleanse, tones, serum, eye cream, day cream, sunscreen in the morning. Then cleanse, mask, tone, serum, eye cream, night cream in the evening. No wonder your skin looks so soft. I want to touch it. Not surprising. Perhaps I would allow you to touch. But this is, well, as much as I enjoy talking about skincare, there's something more important on my mind. What's that? You. There's a decision I'm thinking over. One that is very important. Life-altering, if you will. Uh, okay. This sounds serious. Yes. It's not something I should consider, y and yet, I'm thinking about it anyway. Considering it. Weighing my options. Will it get you in trouble? It will put me in the most trouble I could be in. Casper? What exactly is it you're considering? Speak not a word of this to another soul. Because it will not only get me in trouble, but you as well. This is a choice just for the two of us. What? Do you understand? Well, yes, but what is it? Fuck. Oh, that's what it was? That's what he was getting so upset about? We can do that anytime, bro. I'm thinking about breaking protocol. Oh, you mean... I mean, I'm thinking of refusing to collect your soul. Refusing to collect any more at all. Uh, you're gonna quit? I've never heard of one of my kind quitting before. You either work or are terminated, but I am capable of making my own decisions, for better or worse. And you're thinking about this because, because of you. Thinking about because of you, sunshine. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. You've always gotten me into trouble. Perhaps I don't mind. If I do this, then it's because it's something I want for myself. And I quite like the sound of doing whatever I want for a change. Not having to follow some set of rules determined for me. But, if it's just a one-sided wish, even I wouldn't be arrogant enough to force it on you. If you, just a few words, and I would throw everything away for you. Oh, Casper. Oh, my little Reaper. Oh, Grimace. 
Sorry, boys. We're gonna have to keep calling him Grimace. I think I'm in love with you. Harp. You. Really? About me? As funny as it would be if I was messing with you right now, I'm totally serious. So? Wanna run away together? Make some soul babies? I mean, it'll be more you running than me. I've got an apartment and a pet to worry about. If I came over right now, would you open the window? <laughs> Are you? It's already open for you, Casper. Perfect. <laughs> Are you planning on sneaking in through my window? It's hardly sneaking if I just let you know I'd be coming. What exactly do you plan to make your grand entrance? I want to see you. As soon as I hang up, I'll come right on over. But, I know you just joked about running away together, but I will really effectively be on the run. I cannot stay here. Oh, damn. You need to get a job, dude. Where are you going to go? Do you have a couch? <laughs> I can do you one better. I have a bed. I know that. But I'm talking about a place where I can sleep. Well, you're right. We're not going to do much sleeping on the bed, but... Yes. My bed. Why would I make you sleep on a couch? Seriously, Casper. You want to sleep in the same bed? All the homies and I sleep in the same bed. What, what's wrong with that, man? Hop in. Kiss a homie. As long as you're comfortable with it, too, though. Yeah, unless you're uncomfortable. Then that's different. I'm comfortable with it. Are you sure? I wouldn't offer it to you if I wasn't. There's plenty of room for the both of us. I want to lay by your side. Or snuggle up if you wanted to as well. Six dudes, one bed. Only way. I have to slurp. Hydrate. I cannot believe you. You literally just invited someone who is trying to actively kill you into your bed. Well, yeah, but I happen to like him a lot. And he isn't actively trying to kill me now. No, I suppose I'm not. Gods, what am I doing? Following your heart. Letting yourself dream? Following my heart. And letting myself dream. Sounds like a nice life, huh? It sounds terrifying. But perfect. Leave the window open, okay? I'll see you soon, sunshine. Wait, are we actually gonna get an ending? The sun shines beautifully through your unlocked window. Stand and walk towards your bed and you can't help but think. Today's a good day to be alive. It doesn't take long for the sound of your window being shifted pulls you out of your head. There you see the prettiest, sweetest, stupidest, dumbest man you have ever met. Your heart swells and your body moves before you can even think. Clock. You really did leave it open for me. And you even cleaned off the desk. Uh, do I have to do I have to s change the scene? Do I have to black screen soon? I I didn't even wait, man. I just fucking get on the bed. Nice of you to join me, Casper. Cheeky little. I know you said you were fine with sharing the bed, but I didn't expect you to. No. What did you think would happen? I had no clue. I had a small thought that you were pulling some elaborate joke. That I would arrive here and you would be gone. But you're here. I'm here. This advance is not unwelcome. You're cute, dude. You're cute, bro. There's that signature blush. Shut up. No, I don't think I will. Who would have thought I'd make a bet with a reaper? Hey guys, remember at the beginning of the first episode when I said what the Grim Reaper would be seeing as soon as he saw me, it's happening. It's happening right now. That he'd be on my bed, blushing like this. His hair spread everywhere so nicely. Maybe this was a... A what? A bad idea? Poor Casper. He can't even lie about it. I want to hate you so badly. I know. But you can't, so you may as well love me. I want to hear you say it in person. Say what? Tell me how you feel about me. I... I... I obviously wouldn't be here if I didn't. I like you. 
No, that doesn't sound correct. Gods, I'm so good at speaking, but when it comes to you, I become a mess. What I feel for you is more than just like. You're everything I desire. So I probably, maybe, am in love with you. I won the bet, Casper. I know. Get over here. Nom. You can keep your soul. Oh. I'd much rather have your heart. A poor trade-off. <laughs> Give me something else, too. What do you want? How about a kiss? A uh, kiss? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. A kiss is fine. A kiss is more than fine. A kiss is... great. Ha, <laughs> cute. Close your eyes, Casper. <laughs> really, you're so demanding. I wonder if this is the thumbnail. He doesn't look as cute with his eyes open, though. I got stuck with the worst mortal of all. Well, kiss me then, sunshine. Seal with a kiss, win the bet. Nice. Ending three, mine. Nice. The date with death, credits. Nice. Okay, that was... Wait, how easy are the other endings to get? That was good. I think we got the good ending there, by the way. I think we banged him. I think we banged, by the way. Okay, never mind. The endings are kind of hard to get. So maybe we'll do one more video another time. We'll stream it again. And uh, we'll pick... Uh, we'll get the other endings. It looks like there's three other endings to get. So maybe we'll do that. Depends on how popular this is. I'm pretty happy with getting this this um yeah i'm pretty happy with getting it i mean yeah i'm pretty happy with it didn't get to see sec didn't get to see pex unfortunately that's on their patreon new items added to the gallery so maybe maybe we'll do another part because there's um there's three other endings there's two bad endings and then there's a there's one more good ending that's not including the dlc ending so your bed cg oh god oh god Ooh. and the sketch for it uh, ooh, ooh. christmas nice nice mm. nice actually good actually good this this was pretty good i guess oh wow there's the there's the picture by the way okay Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please leave a like. Maybe if we get like 100 likes or something like that, we'll, uh, we'll get the other endings for the channel, maybe. It'd be a short, shorter video, but maybe we do that. Or maybe just like 50 likes. I don't know. It won't take me long, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing it. If people want it, if some people comment that they want to see all the endings, I guess we'll do it. But with that, that's enough. We, we succeeded. We fucked death. Okay, that's all I wanted to do with this game. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Helps me out a lot. We're growing. We're almost at 10K. Okay, almost is an exaggeration. We're at like 6.4K. Um, I want to hit 10K as soon as possible. So, that'd be awesome. If you, if you help do that and you subscribe. Uh, we play a lot of visual novels, uh, indie horror games, RPG maker games, and a AAA game here and there too. So if you like this, you're going to like the rest of my stuff. Subscribe, okay? And to all my current subscribers, thanks so much for watching. Once again, uh, you're the best. Honestly, same with my Twitch viewers. You're all great. Definitely amazing, okay? So, yeah. Stay, stay with me, man. We're going to keep doing games. You'll like it. Don't worry about it. Have a good one, okay? Peace.